I need to impress upon everybody how difficult this is going to be. Welcome back to Spain, the Circuit de Monte Blanco outside of Seville, and I am so excited to be driving the ultimate Porsche EV, the Taycan Turbo GT Vysok, rear seat delete, giant fixed carbon wing, absolute monster. And I've already done a session in it, so I know that doing this video is going to be ridiculously hard because this is 1,092 horsepower, 998 pound-feet of torque, uh, and 4,950 pounds, but with all of the GT department's talents thrown at it, okay? Now, the Taycan is pretty well updated across the board for 2024. It's got a bigger battery pack. It's got a new rear motor. It's got better range, more efficiency, and all of that stuff. But we are on a racetrack, and so it is important to focus on the task at hand, which is, does Porsche's most powerful production car ever deliver the performance that they want. Guys, today's Taycan GT video is probably being viewed at home by a lot of people who own a Porsche or want to own a Porsche. And today's sponsor is Road Spy Supermounts, which is the perfect cell phone, uh, radar detector, dash cam, GoPro mount for your Porsche sports car. What I love about this thing is it solves a problem, right? Poor mounting and windshield clutter. It's an easy two minute installation and it's totally reversible. So there are no permanent modification to your car. It then has this easy, familiar GoPro style adapter with so many accessory adapters you can put on there. Whether it's a phone mount, an actual GoPro mount, a radar detector mount, a dash cam mount, you name it. It's high and in the center line and takes up so little space on the windshield. So you're not blocking your air vents. You don't have some bulk thing. There's no magnets you need to attach to your phone. There are hundreds of different GoPro style adapters for whatever you might want to put out there. And then it's quick to attach and detach. And from the outside, you barely even know anything is there at all. It fits most Porsche sports cars between 1978 and 2024, including the 911, Boxster, Cayman, 924, 928, 944, 968. And there are tons more fitments coming this year. So hit the link in the video description or go to roadspy.com to get one for yourself. Use code TIRE at checkout for 10% off and thank you to Roadspy for sponsoring today's Tycon GT review. Well, when Lars Kern is driving it, who is here and gave me a little lesson before, yes it does. This car did a 707 around the Nordschleife, which is only two seconds off the Ramatz Nevera, which has double the power. That's the fastest four-door car powered by anything ever to go around that track. It also, with Lars driving, did a 127.8 at Laguna. That is two-tenths of a second off the McLaren Senna. Now, those numbers are nuts. And that featured the Trofeo RS tire, which is an all-new tire uh, for this car. This one has the new Pirelli uh, uh, R tire, which is the standard tire, not the optional super sticky track tire. So we're not going to get the ultimate in grip today, but still this will be challenging. So we are going to start with a launch from zero to, I don't know, 200 K 2.2 seconds to 60. Here we go. Oh God, that's so uncomfortable. You can hear it go from first to second gear and on, on the brakes at about 200 K there. And uh, let's go. You've got that full power is available via an overboost function that they call attack mode, which is accessible with the paddle shifter. The left paddle toggles the regen, the right paddle toggles the attack mode. Attack mode is good for 160 extra horsepower and you definitely feel it and you can use it over and over again with a break of only four seconds uh, in between. So 
I, I will use it and show you where I'm going to use it. The balance is so good. This has the same active ride hydraulic suspension that the Panamera gets, but holy shnikes, the acceleration. <laughs> Carbon ceramic brakes bespoke for this car. They save weight versus other ceramic brakes in Porsche's lineup. Gold calipers, very nice. With the large fixed wing, that is a Nurburgring setup for stability. Couple hundred pounds of downforce at VMAX, but at this track will create a little bit of understeer, actually. The non visoc Turbo GT with a back seat and no big wing will have a bit more balanced handling, but this one just looks fucking cool. So you can feel a little bit of balanced push there. This car is so fast and we're going to run, they want us to run through this slalom because they said if we ran the front straight clean, we would be doing nearly 300 K at the end of the front straight in this car. I did 245 K in the Panamera. So that, that would be a huge number to be doing with no helmet, but even now well over 200 K, even using only half of the front straight and braking very conservatively. So a little bit of understeer into the hairpin and you can balance it on the throttle coming out. It's very, very deceptive, the speed, particularly because I have a camera blocking the speedometer. <laughs> I have no idea how fast I'm going, but you do. The acceleration is just bonkers. Uh, you would make yourself quite nauseous running a fast canyon in this car. I don't know what the market is for a four-door car with rear seat delete, um, other than the very, very hardcore, but goddamn, is it crazy? <laughs> yes, woof. You really have to pay attention to where you're braking because the car is so fast that even with very powerful carbon ceramic brakes and good tires, you could overdrive it, and when you crash, it's not gonna be at 60, it's gonna be at 160. Here, the active ride in this section will really just load up so nicely, give you a couple degrees. Even uh, what I like about Porsche's PSM is, even when it's fully on, like here, you get a couple degrees of slip. I like that. Even Lars says, driving uh, Nordschleife with PSM on versus off, not a lot of advantage. Sorry, this radio is knocking around. I hope it's not bugging you. Uh, we're gonna, I guess we're not doing the thing. I guess we're just gonna slow down and get some air on the brakes here. We asked Porsche how long this system will last at, at full kill mode. And, uh, and they said basically a lap of the Nordschleife plus a little bit. So, can you do a full 30 minute track session at full power? Uh, no, you cannot, unfortunately. So if I take it out of uh, Sport Plus now and I go into normal mode, I can now use that active ride to lean into the corner, lean into the corner, flare the nose when braking and dip the nose when accelerating active ride is so cool we'll go back back to sport plus and i can toggle car drops down this thing is so crazy the g-forces that it puts on your body under both acceleration and braking are nuts i mean it is it is truly this sort of teleportation device that uh I mean, look, taking the back seat out of the car uh, eliminates, it, it demonstrates its sense of purpose for the hardcore, right? But you can get one with no wing and a back seat that can still be used as a daily driver. And with active ride, you really could. You don't have to choose the stiff ride. You still will get that good ride. And so that performance that will be on tap at any time, I mean, it's crazy. I, I said it to the engineers and the PR people, 
I, I just can't believe you're just selling this to regular people because it is so, so fast. So many people are going to crash these things because they just don't really understand what they are getting into and what this level of performance, you know, 1100 horsepower, give or take, on tap uh, really means. It's absolutely bonkers. And so although I have a limited amount of seat time here in Spain with the, with the Taycan Turbo GT, I really uh, I want to spend a week with it and, and get to know it uh, once these come stateside. But it is the pace of it is really crazy. And this is from someone who's used to driving fast cars because it's, a, it's, it's not, you get into a Senna and you immediately understand, I've driven the Senna, you immediately understand what it is that you're getting. You get in this and it's, it's, it shocks you every time you hit the gas. It's just, it's just wild. Um, so thank you for watching this video from Spain. Uh, I appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, share. Uh, I came a long way to do this, so um, it would be great if you'd help me out on that one. Thank you to Porsche for setting all this up and the racetrack, and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye. And remember, always fight your tickets on the Off The Record app available in the Android and iOS store, or go to offtherecord.com slash TST.